begging and pleading, begging and pleading, begging and pleading. Now, this match has to happen. Vladimir Joseph, CTWE Heavyweight Champion, goes one-on-one -on -one against Dan the Man, AKA the face of the company, AKA the champ. Vladimir Joseph, this is not supposed to happen. This is part of the plan. We're supposed to stick together. But you want to listen to the man groupies. So now, I have to do the exact same thing to you that I did to AJ Cruz. So, 126.13, a hero falls. Another hero falls. Vladimir Joseph, you are my best friend. But tonight, two tiles on the line. I'm not losing mine. I'm not losing mine. And you're going to learn that sacrifices have to be made for my well-being. You may entertain the masses, but they will all cheer for me. Ladies and gentlemen, the CTWE champion, Vladimir Joseph. Vlad, you have a match tonight where your belt is up against Dan Demand's belt, and you set this up, and he seems to be not very into this match. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Well, Chops, I, uh, you know, tonight, tonight isn't about this. It's not about Dan's belt. It's a big night. Uh, as we all know, or if people don't know, Dan trained me. And, uh, you know, he made me pay my dues. But that's, that's a different story. Tonight, it's about two men fighting for respect and honor. He broke AJ Cruz's back. That's not acceptable. We're supposed to entertain the fans. And tonight, I plan on keeping this and taking his shooting star title, if it means that much. Uh, if you excuse me, I have to be careful in the match. Thank you very much, Flex. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, 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 Buster, Buster, Buster. You can't. Pick for a specific number. There's a title match at Brickomania on the line. This has to be fair. I can do what I want. I'm just gonna take this one out. Here. I don't even have to look at it. You wanna know why? Doesn't matter what number is on there, I'm still coming out the winner tonight. Confident Buster. It's a good number.
These fans in Bethany going berserk for this title for title match. around this folks two best friends going at it for the richest prizes in our the chant echoing through the Bethany Town Hall. amazing title match here and then of course the Rumble Games match itself. Huge match here could change the course of CTWE history. The winner of this match will go on to face Frankie Ariane at Madness in March on March 9th. That will be the heavyweight Three. champion and we don't know what will happen with the shooting star championship. do that to someone you used to call friend. This One thing a, you want to wrestle somebody, that was just disrespectful. This is a classic, classic teacher versus student matchup. When you see this, respect really goes out the window. You don't know. You haven't been trained. When you're trained by someone, they break you down mentally. They break you down physically. And this is years of aggression. Vladimir Joseph has to get out. Nice shot there by Vlad. Nick, my feelings about Dan the Man are very clear. Right after this, I'll give you an update on AJ Cruz. I am interested to hear that. Uh, I was very shocked when I saw what happened. Look at Vlad firing away, and then Dan takes the shortcut. Classic Dan the Man. Eric Stefanowicz draws the duty for this match, and I do not have any envy for him. Smart move by Dan, jumps over. Eats a clothesline by First Class. By the way, look at the new gear by Mr. First Class. Vladimir Joe, uh, and the man just throwing water bottles. The, the anger that is, uh, Dan is getting the best of him. 
Eric He's Stefanowicz is trying to hold Vladimir Joseph back. This is a very high volume, of a high emotional situation here. Vlad hammering away on Dan the Man on the outside. This isn't good. This is getting ugly. This is not a no disqualification match. This is getting ugly real fast. Vladimir Joseph tosses Dan down on the mat. Oh! Loving overhand forearm. It's like slamming a leg of lamb down on somebody, you know? It's just, oh! Hungry, huh, Nikki B? A little bit. It's the cupcakes here. You gotta Come have the to the eye, another shortcut by Dan the man. Oh, Vladimir Joseph into the wall. Evolved into a flat out brawl. Cool. And you can see the venom of former friendship deteriorated so quickly. You hear the chance from the crowd. Vlad's your dad. Solidly behind Vlad. Solidly. Not even a question. Eric Stefano is doing a great job. I have to say, the officials of CTWE have been on their A game today. Anthony Green? Yeah, Anthony Green had a, he didn't belong in that match. It didn't make sense. <laughs> Lad looks like he's loading up that white collar clobber. Dan DeMann looks like he has run a marathon in the game. You know, CC, it seems like every time your guy is doing well, you're happy with the officiating. What a face buster there by Dan the Man, but the big man stays on his feet. I have no loyalties here in CTWA. I'm a journalist, and I call it down the middle. Dan the Man, full head of steam. Ah, forearm or an elbow right into the face of Vladimir Joseph. And Vladimir is down in the corner. Oh, man. One, two, three, four. Come on, Vlad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Slapping and choking and... Three, How he's angry. Both men are angry, and rightfully so. Listen, Dan DeMan and Vlad, they just, it's too close, it's too personal. A lot of history here, a lot of history, years of history. <laughs> look at him choking, him. and this is smart on the part of Dan DeMan, because when you look at Dan DeMan's physique and you look at Vladimir Joseph's, the cardio of Dan DeMan, is in much better shape than Vladimir Joseph. So choking him, limiting his air supply, is going to give Dan an advantage in this match. That's true, but to be fair to Vlad, he has uh, what I like to call impact power. Absolutely, come on, good call. When he hit, lands a fist on you, it just ripples out like What a forearm there by Dan. And Joseph finally angry. Vlad with a slap. Vlad now choking away at Dan. No, what has he got going here? Oh no, he's not gonna. Oh! Oh! Not getting away that easy. Chopping the chest of Dan DeMann. Dear God. Dan DeMann is ragged out. This could be it. Two count. You know, a lot of times when you have a big match feel such as this, the crowd is silent on the edge of their seat. This literally, literally can change the course of CTWE history. Looking oh. for that big elbow drop, but Dan obviously had it scouted. Now the leg drops, I know they're coming. One. Oh. Two. Now, Stupid little Dan. Me. Boo! Oh. And a stomp to the face. And I'll tell you what Dan the man thinks of Vlad right now, a There's boot no to the face. There's not a single person I like less in the world than Dan the man. It's clear, you know, you like to get yourself in hot water there on social media with Mr. Dan DeMan. I don't recall what you're talking about. Dragon Sleeper by Dan DeMan. Once again, continuing his strategy of trying to wear the champ down. You know, in mixed martial arts, they have the saying, you drag him into the deep water. And as this match gets deeper in, you're going to see exhaustion set in for Vladimir Joseph. Well, you know... 
That's that's the key. That's the, that's the key is to get a guy like Vlad tired. You know, if Vlad can move, but if he's got to have the strength, he's got to have the air power, the air supply. You can't win. Oh my! Do you see that he's he just yelled at Vlad, "You can't win," and got a slap on the chest. Uh oh. Oh, Vlad is pissed. Look at him. And Dan the Man taking the coward's way out. Vlad is begging him to hit him. What a forearm! What a Vladimir chop! Come on, teacher! That's all you got, boy! Come on! Oh! There's no catch as catch can here. There's no Greco Roman. This is a fight. Oh, wow! This is gonna leave marks on these guys for weeks, CC. Vladimir Joseph shaking it off. What a oh. spine buster! Vladimir got the better of that exchange, yes. and he's gonna win! Let's take a quick look at that again on the CTW second shot. Nothing beats a good spine buster from a guy the size of Vladimir Joseph. You're learning, Nikki D, you're learning. The size plays an impact because Vlad can pick him up and take all his weight and put it down on Dan as he slams him into the mat. A person's back is designed to carry that person, not a person and Vlad. Thumb to the eye, shortcut again by Dan Demand, disgusting antics. Yeah, what are we gonna see here? High risk maneuver! Oh! oh! Knees to the chest! Dan Drove him right down! Vladimir Joseph. Two! Oh, thank goodness. Dan thought that was it. His counting skills are subpar at best. Face it, Vlad. You this would be the first one. Oh. Telling Vlad he can't win and then unkind words for our audience. You know, they pay your salary, Dan. Yes! Take flight! It's over! Hit him with it! No. M Mr. Brico pays his salary. Look at just down! Yes! He can't do that! Two! No! Three! Three, right? That was that was Three. two! That's the dumbest chant I ever heard. Nick D, you better be careful before I throw you to the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll look like just another tribute. <laughs> You'd be one of the first ones to go in the cornucopia. That's right, I read the books and saw the movie. Both men back to their feet as CTWE presents the Rumble Games. And the odds are not in Dan Demand's favor right now. They certainly are not. Loading up that fist for the white collar clobber. That white collar clobber is one of the most brutal moves I've ever seen. Spinning back fist is a fantastic maneuver. You better than that! Hate brushing him now. I taught you better than that. Does Vlad have the cross face chicken wing in? Vladimir Joseph! Oh, that's it! No, he's looking for the cr uh, It's a variation of the crossface chicken wing or the kacha hachime. Look at the size of Vladimir's legs. You got those wrapped around you, where can you go? Is he gonna tap? Vlad is screaming at the top of his lungs for Dan to tap. Is he out? Dan's hand is up. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna do it? Did he tap? I didn't see him tap! I didn't see him tap! What's going on here? We want answers!
you came from, Glenn! What are you doing? Remember where you came from, Glenn! What's wrong with you, Glenn, huh? What's wrong with you? You couldn't even have 15 minutes for Glenn! Well, this situation is just getting crazier by the minute here, folks. Well, the story here, folks, for now, Vladimir Joseph remains our heavyweight champion, Dan the Man is our shooting star champion, and we're going in to the Rumble Games. Wait a minute. That's right, he goes on to face Frankie at Madness in March. No one for Frankie? I'm the former champion you've been running from. March 9th, Vlad, me and you in a dog collar match. Dan the man. Um, I, I hate to come in and uh, interrupt here, but really, really, what's going on between y'all two, man? This is all your fault. This is all save your it. fault. Hey, hey, save it. Oh man. This is how you want it. This is how you want it now. Remember, everything that has a beginning has an end. Get out. Oh. <coughs> you all right, man? Sorry. 